Hello friends, good morning and welcome back to Relief Tutorials. In the previous session, we have discussed many examples regarding distance and displacement. We know that distance means length of the path traveled by the moving particle and displacement means the straight distance between the initial and the final point. Now based on this, we have new terms to study that are very important. First one, speed. So what do you mean by speed? Let us see one example to understand the concept. Consider here is point A or place A, here is place B, this is the path available to go from A to B, one of the particle is traveling from A going towards B. Let us say the length of this path. Length of this path means distance. Let us say the distance between these two points means length of this path. Let us say it is 200 meter. Okay. Symbol used for distance is S to represent distance and displacement. Symbol is S common symbol. Let us say the distance between A and B is 200 meter. One of the particle is starting its journey from A reach at point B in time 20 second. So it requires 20 second to travel from A to B. So can I say that in 20 second distance traveled is 200 meter. So can you find what distance averagely it is traveling in one second? So in 20 second distance traveled is 200 meter. So in one second it is how much? So 1 into 200 is 200 divided by 20. 0, 0 cancel. 2 tens are so can I say 10 meter distance traveled in one second and that can be represented 10 meter per second so this is the distance traveled in one second <coughs> one more example then we will add the definition again let us say this is Rajkot and this is the path available to go to let us say Ahmedabad. Length of the path means distance. Let us say distance here is 200 kilometer. Let us say the time required to travel. Time is represented by T. Let us say it requires 4 hours to reach there. So can I say in 4 hours we have travelled 200 km distance. Then what distance we are averagely travelling in 1 hour? So again it is a cross multiplication. Two in, uh, it's, uh, 200 into 1 means 200 km upon 4 hour so 4 5 is a 20 so answer is 50 so it's 50 kilometer per hour these two are speeds in this example distance is in terms of meter and time is in terms of second and in this example distance is in terms of kilometer and time in terms of hour 
so focus on time we are traveling certain distance in both we are traveling certain distance in certain time so in that case we have to find what distance they are traveling in one second or they are traveling in one hour one second one hour one minute these are nothing but the unit time unit time means one second or one hour or one minute whatever the example and whatever the time what in, in whatever the terms the times time is described unit time means unit means one unit means one so it's one second or one hour or one sec one minute so here in both the examples we have found that what distance the particle is traveling in one second or in one hour in other words we can say in both the cases what we have found is we have found the distance traveled in unit time and that is called as speed so the simple definition here for speed is distance traveled by a moving particle in one second is called as its speed distance traveled by a moving particle in one second is called as its speed so in any other example we always find what in one second here particularly i have written one second but i can replace this word as unit time in place of one second it may be one hour it may be one minute depends in which terms the time described so for that purpose we are generalize the definition so from now on the definition is distance traveled by a moving particle in unit time in place of one second or one hour or one minute what we are writing unit time unit time means one second one hour or one minute whatever distance traveled by a moving particle in unit time is called as its speed so these are the speeds now can you see that this distance this speed we found by what what we have done we have done the cross multiplication it is what 200 meter the total distance and 20 was the time here also how you find the answer 50 you found the answer 50 dividing 200 by 4 so this is distance and this is time so formula for speed will be like this formula speed is equals to distance upon time speed is equals to distance upon time how you find the speed every time distance traveled upon time taken symbol for speed is v symbols for speed is v so if you write the same formula in terms of symbols in place of speed we will write v is equals to distance distance symbolized by s upon time symbolized by t so v is equals to s by t the formula okay based on this in which terms the speed should be measured means what is the unit of speed in which terms the speed is measured here we got the answer in terms of meter per second here we are getting the answer in terms of kilometer per hour so unit of speed is either meter per second or kilometer per hour sorry kilometer per hour sometimes we can use kilometer per minute also if the time is described in terms of minute meter per hour also whatever but these are the two famous unit meter per second and kilometer per hour so this is the definition this is formula and these are the unit of speed now let us take some more example to understand the concept very well again the same example i am taking this is rajkot this is ahmedabad for example you yourself is traveling from rajkot to Ahmedabad. Okay, you started your journey at 8 a.m. 
and you reach at Ahmedabad at 12 noon. So from morning 8 to 12 noon. So what time you take for the whole journey? You take 4 hours to complete your journey. And as we know, the distance between two places is 200 km. Same example I am repeating. When you reach at Ahmedabad, listen to me now. When you reach at Ahmedabad, your friend is there to pick up you. He or she has asked one question to you. She is asking one question to you. Let us say the question number one. She has asked, she or he has asked you that with what speed you came here or with what speed you travel during your journey he or she is asking such type of question then what you will answer then for that purpose you have to find what speed so how can you find speed we have a formula for speed that speed is equals to distance upon time what is distance 200 kilometer upon time is 4 hour so answer is what 50 kilometer per hour so what you will answer your answer will be what what you will say that i came here with 50 kilometer per hour speed this will be your answer but what do you think is it the correct answer let us say another question he or she has asked you, your cousin has asked you that what was your speed at 9.30 am? What you will answer for this? What was your, because you have started your journey at 8 o'clock in the morning. Okay. So you have given the answer that I, we, I reach here with 50 km per hour speed but he or she your cousin has your friend has changed the question that what was your speed at 9.30 am then what will be your answer because you don't know what may be the speed exactly at 9.30 because you started your journey at 8 am you are traveling from bus depot so initially the bus is going very slowly then when bus is on the highway uh, the bus is on when the bus is on highway the speed is more okay uh, at certain place bus has take the hold also for example here is one of the restaurant and uh, bus has taken the hold for tea break so what is the speed exactly at that time when the bus is on the hold the speed is particularly what zero when the bus started from depot initially the speed is what zero then he started, then the speed is 1 km per hour, 2 km per hour, 10 km per hour. When it, when it is on the highway, the speed may be 80 km per hour, 90 km per hour. Maybe some traffic area in the nearby city, then the speed again decreases to 10, 20 km per hour. Then bus is at the hold, again the speed is 0. Again bus travels from here. The again speed increases from 0 to 1 to 10, 10, 10 20, 30, 40, 50. Again the bus is on the highway. The speed may reach to 80, 90 km per hour. Again the bus takes the hold. Another hold is taken here. So I think what again the speed is 0. Again bus travels from this point. Again speed increases. And overall you reach to Ahmedabad in 4 hours of the total journey. But what I want to explain that at during this 4 hour the speed of the bus is not same everywhere. Obviously, it will not be. By bus you are traveling, by car you are traveling, whatever the vehicle you are using, the speed cannot remain constant. The speed cannot remain same everywhere. Okay. So, at 9.30 particular time, exactly at 9.30, how can you know that what should be your speed? So, I think here, the answer of yours is what nothing because you don't know what was the exact speed at 930. First your your answer was what 50 km per hour but what do you think 50 km per hour 
is the speed of the bus at every moment so at any moment you are traveling with 50 km per hour i think that is not correct that is not correct so this answer which you have given describe the whole journey this is the answer regarding the whole journey total the distance traveled and total time required including holds including traffic area including the highest speed okay so overall your speed is 50 km per hour so this type of answer is actually called as average speed so this your answer is nothing but the average speed because you have taken the whole journey under consideration you have taken each and every moment under consideration because you have not you have you have not observed the speed at every moment so when you are considering whole journey as a single part if you consider the whole journey as a single part then the speed is called as average speed and if for example uh, uh, let us take one more example so you are answerless here okay now after 6 months or so again you are traveling from rajkot to ahmedabad okay now you know that your cousin is cousin is asking your cousin or the friend is asking the tricky questions to you so what you have done you have taken the observations during the whole journey you just sit it beside the driver and taken the observation you have taken the observation that 8 am your speed is 0 km per hour after 1 minute means 8 1 the speedometer that that speedometer means what that indicator showing on each and every vehicle on your activa on your bike car it speedometer 0 10 20 such type of speedometer you have seen maybe in your car that such this is 0 10 20 30 up to 180 i think so this pointer shows the speed so you are just sitting beside the driver seat and you are taking the observation of each and every minute throughout the journey because you know that your your friend or cousin is asking some tricky questions to you and this time you don't want to be the answerless okay so 8 am you have traveled uh, the speed was what 0 km per hour 8 and 1 let us say the speed is 5 km per hour because still the bus is in the city area coming out of the city the speed is less 8 and 2 uh, speed may be what 7 km per hour 8 3 some speed is here in this way you have taken infinite number of observations so there are 60 minute in an hour so in one hour you are taking 60 observations for example you have made a list you have notebook and pen and you are recording speed of the bus at every moment speed of the bus at every moment for example 9:30 am you have taken the speed the bus will be on the highway and it is traveling with the highest speed let us say 85 km per hour let us say 931 some speed is there you are taking the observation each and every minute so in one hour you are taking 60 observations and so again you are taking 4 hours to reach there so in 4 hour you will have 240 observations then again you reach at amdavad at 12 noon okay again your cousin is asking the same question that with what speed not speed but the average speed with what speed you came here so again you will answer that i came here with 50 km per hour average speed this is the answer of average speed good one second question she again she or he again repeated that what was your speed at 9:30 am so now you have the record now we have the observation you have suddenly you have given the answer that 85 km per hour so you are feeling proud to yourself that you are answering your uh, cousin but your cousin is too smart now he or she is asking one more question that what was your speed at 11 am 
so still you are answerable because you have the observation of each and every minute for example in your list at 11 am the bus is in one of the local city area so the speed is only 20 km per hour so again you are giving the answer that my speed at 11 am is 20 km per hour so look at these answers this answer is 50 this answer is 85 this answer is 20 this answer represents the whole journey and these answers represent the speed at particular time so these are called as instant speed or instantaneous speed instantaneous speed means for the speed at a particular moment at a particular time but this answer is not the instantaneous speed this is the average speed of the whole journey so there is a difference between two types of speeds average speed and instantaneous speed instantaneous speed only can be recorded by the observation we don't have any formula to find the instantaneous speed but we have the formula to find the average speed so how can you find the average speed average speed means what it is the ratio of total distance traveled to total time taken see speed having the same formula always and that formula is always distance upon time okay so there is no change in the formula there is no change in the formula but change in the concept average speed means what you are describing the whole journey as a single so ratio of total distance traveled to total time taken is called as average speed and what do you mean by instant speed instant instantaneous or you can say instant whatever so what do you mean by instantaneous speed the speed of a moving particle at a at a particular instant or particular time is called as is called as instantaneous speed at that time we don't have any formula for instantaneous speed but we can find average speed by the formula let me write the formula the same formula but just the words are different average speed is equals to what i will write total distance total in the sense what you are considering whole journey as a single total distance upon total time okay symbolically average speed which means vav symbol for average speed is vav av stands for average is equal to total distance traveled that is s and total time that is t let us take some examples again consider one of the this is a straight path between point a to c straight path very simple example because such type of examples are there in our syllabus one of the particles starting its journey from a traveling to point b now this distance from a to b is let us say 100 meter it takes 5 second to travel okay now from b to c from uh, one of the particles starting is journey from a travel up to b okay 5 second required 100 meter distance now at b the particle takes some rest and again starting its journey 
now from b to c it is traveling up to and the distance between b to c is 200 meter and it takes 15 second to reach there from b to c so if you see the whole it is the, the whole journey is actually divided into two parts first part and the second part the first part is also called as first instant and this is second instant or we can say first time interval and second time interval so if i ask you what is your speed in the first case or in the first part so you have a formula that speed for the first part is distance upon time okay so what is the distance for the first part 100 meter so let us symbolize it as s1 this 200 meter is the distance for the second part so it is s2 5 second is the first time interval so it is t1 and what is t2 it is 50 second just we are giving the numbers for the first part 1 1 for the second part is 2 2 same way we are finding the speed for the first part the speed for the first part let us say it's v1 so what is v1 v1 is equals to s1 by t1 so if you put the values what is s1 s1 is 100 meter and what is t1 t1 is 5 second so i think 520 is 100 so the answer is 20 meter per second okay now same question what is the speed in the second part so v2 v let us find so v2 is s2 by t2 so that is equals to now what is s2 here it is 200 upon 15 okay so if you divide this is 15 ones are 15 5 left 0 50 so 15 3s are 45 5 left again it is 0 again so 15 3s are again 13.333 will be the answer let us say 13.3 meter per second this is the speed for the second part so what these are these are called as speeds speed or instantaneous speed we will call speed as instantaneous huh? we will not speak this word again and again when i when i say speed means it is instantaneous because this is for the first instant of time or the first interval of time and this is for the second interval of time but now if i ask you the same question find the average speed so when you are finding the average speed you consider whole journey as a single okay so when you find the average speed you have to consider whole journey as a single one so can i say average speed is equal to total distance upon total time total distance upon total time so what is the total distance how can you find total distance total distance means 100 plus 200 means it is s1 plus s2 and total time means t1 plus t2 the symbol for average speed is vav and total distance can i say it is s1 plus s2 upon t1 plus t2 so this can be the representation of the formula the how what do you mean by total distance total distance means sum of all the distances here we have how many parts two parts so s1 plus s2 if you have three parts then it will be s1 plus s2 plus s3 upon t1 plus t2 plus t3 whatever the number of parts you are having total distance means sum of all the distance and t total time means sum of all the time so now put the values so vav is equals to s1 plus s2 it is 100 plus 200 upon t1 plus t2 that is 5 plus 15 so 100 plus 200 means 300 300 upon 15 plus 5 20 0 0 cancel 2 15 are the answer of the average speed is 15 meter per second look at the answers average speed is totally different from the instantaneous speed 
सो वॉट इज द फॉर्मुला फॉर द एवरेज स्पीड एवरेज स्पीड वी एवी इज इक्वल टू टोटल डिस्टेंस अपॉन टोटल टाइम टोटल डिस्टेंस कैन बी ऑल्सो रिप्रेजेंटेड एज लाइक दीज एस वन प्लस एस टू अपॉन टी वन प्लस टी टू इफ यू हैव टू पार्ट इफ यू हैव थ्री पार्ट एन प्लस एस थ्री इफ यू हैव फोर पार्ट इट इज एस वन प्लस एस टू प्लस एस थ्री प्लस एस फोर इफ यू हैव एन नंबर ऑफ पार्ट सो इट इज वॉट एस वन प्लस एस टू प्लस एस थ्री अप टू एस एन पार्ट सेम थिंग टी वन प्लस टी टू अप टू टी एन पार्ट इन शॉर्ट टोटल डिस्टेंस सम ऑफ ऑल द डिस्टेंस इज ये अपॉन सम ऑफ ऑल द टाइम इन अवर चैप्टर इन अवर सिलेबस we will have two parts only so i think this can be the formula we can use in our syllabus in our chapter otherwise this is the general formula if you have more parts you have to add more number of distance okay this is the general formula total distance upon total time whatever the number of parts of distance you are having we add all one in total time we add all the time but in our Uh, textbook we, we are having only the examples which is which is having only two parts so this can be the formula for us which is very important formula see students when you are uh, watching this video please take out your notebook and note each and everything make a note definitions of instantaneous speed average speed formula unit unit will be same because it's one type of speed so the unit is meter per second and kilometer per hour no difference let us take some examples to understand the concept very well <coughs> again let us say one of the particle is traveling in two parts again two parts the distance traveled in first part is Fifty kilometer. It takes two hour for traveling. Okay. Let us say second part having one fifty kilometer distance. This distance is one fifty, and it takes. Three hours for completing this. Okay. Now the question is: Find speeds for both the parts as well as find. एवरेज स्पीड ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द फर्स्ट पार्ट विच आर द डेटा गिवन टू यू इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट डिस्टेंस इज गिवन एज फिफ्टी किलोमीटर सो कैन आई से एस वन इज गिवन एज फिफ्टी किलोमीटर जस्ट वी आर मेकिंग द लिस्ट ऑफ द डेटा गिवन टू यू टाइम गिवन फॉर द फर्स्ट पार्ट मीन्स टी वन इज गिवन एज टू आवर्स we have to find the speeds for both the parts means we have to find v1 here and v2 for the second part also what is given to you for the second parts for the second part s2 is given as 150 km t2 is given as 3 hours and v2 is missing that we have to find as well as we have to find the vav also so one more question you have vav to find So actually, you have to find V one, V two, and V A V. First of all, let us find V one. How can you find V one? Formula for V one, we can use what V one is equals to S one by T one. Therefore, V one is equals to what is S one? S one is fifty kilometer, and what is T one? T one is two hours. So therefore, v one is equals to fifty by two means what it is twenty five kilometer per hour. So v one we found. Then let us find v two here. 
so what is v2 v2 is equals to s2 by t2 we can use the formula therefore v2 is equals to s2 s2 is given as 150 kilometer and t2 is given as 3 hours therefore v2 is 150 by 3 so it's 3 fives are so it's 50 kilometer per hour this is v2 v1 is uh, found here v2 we found now we have to find what vav so what is the formula for vav total distance upon total time total distance means sum of both the distances so we can use the formula it is what s1 plus s2 upon t1 plus t2 therefore v a v is equals to s1 plus s2 it's 50 plus 150 so it's 50 plus 150 upon t1 plus t2 is 2 plus 3 50 plus 150 is 200 upon 3 plus 2 5 so 200 by 5 so i think it's 40 so v a v is 40 kilometer per hour this is the way you, you can be asked the question in your exam v1 to find v2 to find v a v is to find still many more examples to do but one more thing I want to clear before going towards the next example that speed or average speed both whatever it is it, it depends on what distance and time speed or average speed whatever it is it depends on distance and time distance is a scalar quantity it does not require any uh, any direction to mention time is also what scalar quantity so the speed depends on two quantities which both are scalar so eventually speed is also the scalar quantity so if it is a scalar quantity we don't have to mention direction while describing the speed so both any type of speed instantaneous speed average speed or any type of speed all the speeds are always scalar quantity what is the reason that why it is a scalar quantity speed is a scalar quantity because it depends on two quantities speed is not the independent quantity speed has to rely on what distance and time but distance is a scalar time is also scalar so s is scalar t is scalar so eventually v is also scalar maybe average speed or whatever whatever the type of speed it is it is always a scalar quantity okay now very simple example again i am taking here another example you have to write all the examples in your notebook please these examples are not given in any text uh, not given in your textbook it is not given in any one of the reference book okay so this this i have created by my own for your sake of understanding so please note each and every examples in your notebook now another example consider one of the particle is traveling from point a to b a single part of the journey okay it requires let us say the distance is 72 kilometer between a to b and it takes two hours to complete that so the question is now find average speed in terms of kilometer per hour and meter per second so first of all only one distance is given so the total distance here travel is 72 we don't have to write s1 or s2 because it is only one part and total distance is 72 kilometer and total time here is what two hours 
so total distance is 72 km total time is 2 hour then we have to find average speed let us say v av here is total distance upon total time here the total distance is 72 km upon total time is 2 hour so our answer for average speed here is 36 km per hour that is correct but now the question is you have to convert it into meter per second here the distance is not given in terms of meter per second a meter and time is not given in terms of hour you got the answer in terms of kilometer per hour and now let us convert it into meter per second how look at the process please the speed here you have got in terms of 36 kilometer per hour so what do you mean by 36 kilometer per hour it means 36 kilometer distance traveled in what in one hour and now when you want to convert this kilometer per hour into meter per second you convert kilometer into meter and hour into second we know that one kilometer is thousand meter and one hour means how many seconds one hour means 60 minute and one minute means 60 second so 60 into 60 one hour means 3600 seconds 3600 second so now if you want to convert this 36 kilometer into meter you have to multiply 36 with 1000 so 36 into 1000 meter and one hour so you have to multiply this one with 3600 zero zero second so now your answer is in terms of meter per second just to make it simplify so I think two zeros, look at these huh, process, two zeros cancelled here. Before cancellation, look at this again. What was your answer? 36 by 1. Means 36, okay. So what you have done? You have multiplied 36 by 1 with what? With 1000 upon 3600. So whenever you want to convert kilometer per hour into meter per second, you have to multiply that number by 1000 by 3600. But let us make it simplify. 00, zero cancel. It's 2 5s are and 2 18s are. So can you see that your answer was in terms of kilometer per hour? It was 36 kilometer per hour. Okay. Then to convert it into meter per second, you have multiplied that number by 1000 by 3600, but eventually it reduces to 5 by 18. Okay, now if you further cancel it, 18 2s are so cancelled. So 5 2s are 10 meter per second. So 36 kilometer per hour is equals to 10 meter per second. The logic should be developed. Answer is over. Sum is over, but what note? You have to remember here that what is the note that if you want to convert kilometer per hour to meter per second, whenever you want to convert any kilometer per hour answer into meter per second, you have to multiply that number by 5 by 80. Look at here. Any answer you have in kilometer per hour and you want to convert it into meter per second, you just multiply that number by 5 upon 18. And if your answer already in meter per second and you want to convert it into kilometer per hour, the reverse operation, then you also reverse this multiplication that you have to multiply that number which is in meter per second by 18 upon 5. Okay, let us see, for example, 72 kilometer per hour is equals to dash meter per second. So, you have to convert kilometer per hour to meter per second. Then according to our note, when you want to convert kilometer per hour to meter per second, you multiply that number by 5 upon 18. So, simple, 72 multiplied by 5 upon 18. So, 18 ones are an 18 fours are. 5 fours are 20 meter per second. For example, it is 108 kilometer per hour 
that is equals to dash meter per second. So you just simply your, your your answer already in terms of kilometer per hour, but you want it in terms of meter per second. So you have to multiply this number by five upon eighteen. So eighteen ones are and eighteen six are. So eighteen six are and six five are thirty. So thirty meter per second. If the blank is like this, that ten meter per second is equal to dash kilometer per hour. Here you want to convert meter per second into kilometer per hour. Then what should you do? You should use this note that if your answer in terms of meter per second, you have to convert it into kilometer per hour. Then you have to multiply that number in by eighteen upon five. So ten multiply by eighteen upon five. That is what five one zero and five two zero. So it is eighteen two zero. 36 kilometer per hour if you have 5 meter per second is equals to dash kilometer per hour here you have meter per second and you want to convert it into kilometer per hour then you have to multiply that number by 18 upon 5 5 cancelled 18 kilometer per hour so this is the very important note one mark question can be asked in your exam that how you can convert kilometer per hour into meter per second or meter per second into kilometer per hour please remember this students you have to be careful in the beginning of the chapter you have to make notes of each and everything you have to note each and every examples in your notebook huh? please please be careful keep practicing we will solve more examples on the concept of average speed and this type of examples also we are going to solve till then best of luck